In this video, we're going to talk about hepatic adenoma. So on imaging, uh, these are usually well-circumcised lesions. On the CT scan, you will see that they are hyperattenuated. That is early arterial enhancement on the arterial phase. And then as you go towards the venous phase, uh, there is a loss of contrast. So they become more like isoattenuated lesions. In terms of MRI, on the T1 uh, phase, they're iso-intense, and on T2, they're also iso-intense. Now, let's talk about the EOVIST. Uh, this uh, tumor does not retain uh, EOVIST. Uh, just like the sulfur colloid scan, which adenoma doesn't take, it doesn't uh, take EOVIST uh, either. So that is one important difference uh, to remember. Now, uh, in terms of management, so let me tell you, for example, this is a 40-year-old young male, and on scan, this is very obvious, this patient has a hepatic adenoma, what are you going to do? The answer is no questions asked. For men, the tumor has to come out. Uh, in women, the first line is weight loss and uh, oral contraceptive pill cessation. Uh, if the tumor is symptomatic or five centimeters or above, uh, you offer surgical resection. Why do you resect these lesions? The answer is because uh, they can undergo a malignant uh, transformation and they also uh, can rupture, uh, which is uh, in contrast to hemangiomas. We all think that hemangiomas should be the one that should rupture, but hemangiomas, usually you only operate if they're causing you symptoms such as pain. So remember these uh, slight differences. Thank you.